Sanko AP Physics Experiment Number 11, Fluid Dynamics. Students can use this water tower to investigate how water pressure affects the exit velocity through a nozzle on the bottom of the unit, as well as projectile motion. The kit includes a tall water tower, drain hose, a catch tray, two sponges, and four nozzles. Three of the nozzles have progressively larger and larger holes, and one of the nozzles is blank, so you can make your own size hole. The first time assembly is pretty simple. You have a flexible drain tube and a rigid piece of PVC pipe. Connect these two together, and then the open end you connect to the 90 degree angle at the top of the water tower, and on the bottom you connect it to the metal clip at the base. With this activity, students can investigate the fluid dynamics of a water tower as it is either falling at different heights or with this built-in drain valve, you can have the water level be constant and have students investigate the velocities out of different sized nozzles on the bottom. To set up the experiment, you would place the water tower up on an elevated position, place the catch tray in the bottom, and the sponges are there to kind of help reduce the splash from the water. Then you would choose one of the nozzles that have a different size hole drilled in the end, place it in the base of the water tower, make sure this is aligned properly, then fill it with water, turn the valve on, and have the students investigate the stream of water coming out of that particularly sized hole. And then you can just have the students investigate this as the water level goes down, and the projectile eventually gets closer and closer. The sponge will leave some of the splashing as well. And then you can have the students investigate what happens as the water level goes down and down and down, and eventually this gets closer and closer and closer to the front.